the issue was is that I understood that I was unwanted in this society, so I went to the woods, and I lived in the woods for a couple of years, right. me and my crippled dog and my fiddle, and we loved it. Uh, I have to come into the city once a month to get my disability check, and they got me when I was getting my disability check. They took my truck, so now I can't go home live. I can't hide anymore. That's what I was doing up in the hills, hiding. I, and when I can't hide up in the hills, I hide under the fucking bridge. Um, and I'm done hiding. I'm done with the fear. I'm not a fucking criminal, people. I'm a decent human being. Hear me? A decent human being. Why don't you come talk to me, please? Do you think my situation is unique? It is not. I know good people dying under the fucking bridge, and I'm sick of it. They came down and said, because this seemed to be a political thing, you can stay here and exercise your free, uh, your right to free speech until we tell you you can. So what happened was, is here at this particular location on Saturdays they have a market, you know. So now there's money involved. So they come down and arrest me uh, Friday night and tell me that I'm illegally camped. They don't give a shit about free speech rights. There's a market right over there. They call it Saturday Market. You're probably familiar with it. A little more fancy than a farmer's market. So I was arrested Friday night, and they let me stay here last night, no problem. Now, how long that will continue, it doesn't matter to me. I'm here. If you don't see me here, I'm in jail. I'm trying not to live in fear anymore. Mm -hmm. I am done with being afraid of the crack addicts, being afraid of the police, being afraid of my fellow citizens because I don't fit the uh, standard mold. Uh, I'm tired of being treated subhuman because I'm homeless. It is not by choice. I prefer my human dignity above a roof over my head. This is my issue. I am not a criminal, but I get treated like a criminal. I do not even have a legal place to defecate. Now, why are we... Why, the Iraqis are free and I don't have a place to shit? Sorry, something's wrong. I, I, I don't care about the legalities. I'm talking about human dignity. Because, hey, you know what, people? In the 40s in Germany, it was legal to burn those Jews. Duly authorized, duly signed. Law is law. Human dignity and human freedom, unfortunately, in this country is another matter. Uh, I grew up in a small uh, rural town in mid-Michigan, and it was farm country. Now, here's an interesting thing I've observed over my lifetime, is when I grew up, our slaughterhouse was local, our milk was local, uh, our farmers were local. How about that? All that food was grown in a sustained community. The corporations moved in, all the farmers had to sell out, our uh, uh, milk comes from God knows where, our beef comes from God knows where, and we have no more family farmers. What we have are corporations feeding us genetically modified food. Hey, wake up people in the genetic labs, they're building Frankenstein there. Did you know that? Where's our pitchforks and our, our torches? It's that time, people. It's almost too late. Wake up. Who believes lawyers? Uh, who believes politicians? Who believes cops? That is of a citizenry. Nobody. But the problem is, is uh, we don't define the category starting at the economic levels. We define the category starting at the moral levels. And then we structure our society around a moral, a true moral sense. Come on, how many Christians are there in this country and we're killing babies for oil? So don't tell me this is a Christian country. I have two eyes. I am not asleep with the American dream. Uh, I was a Persian Missile crewman and I swore and I was committed to nuking a country that, had, that we knew were evil. National ID cards, uh, peek and seek searches, people disappearing. I was going to nuke them people. I swore an oath to nuke them people, and my country's doing it? Wake up, people. Wake up.